Thanks. Here you go, sir. Abolition. Abolition is, yeah. Okay, what are we abolishing? Abortion. Oh, good. Pick them up and transport. Kind does that take it? Huh? It is Christ that we come to you to preach. But to rescue those who are being led to the slaughter. And what is happening today and across the nation is the dismemberment of that child. Hey, it's been nice talking to you. Please, I am offering you a reprieve. You're actually louder without the amplified sound. Gentlemen, I'm serving the Lord Jesus Christ, and I just wanted you to consider this argument and uh, rebut, rebut us if you want. We're happy to hear it. Rebuke us. All right, thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for your kindness and taking the literature too. Enjoy the conference. Enjoy the conference. Thank you. Morning, man. Can I give you one of these? We're all brothers and sisters in Christ, and we're here to shine a light on the Holocaust. Yeah, this is probably what it is. We're brothers in Christ, and we're just offering you this literature to consider the argument, rebuke us if we're wrong in anything. Over 3,000 babies murdered every day in this country. How you doing, sir? We're brothers in Christ, and we're just considered to consider our argument, rebuke us if we're wrong. We're not afraid of being rebuked. You got one? All right. Huh? If we're wrong. If we're wrong, we're, we're not afraid of being rebuked. We want to know if we're wrong about anything in our literature that's incorrect. Does that make sense? So like, I'm handing you something, but I'm not telling you you should like, just accept it, but read it and consider it. And then if we're wrong, please rebuke us and help us see it clearly. Does that make sense? Why, why, would, it, why would someone think you're wrong? Uh, well, people think other people are wrong for lots of different reasons. Your cause is uh, to prevent abortion? Our cause is to advance the gospel of Jesus Christ. Save life. Oh, okay. Our, our cause is to advance the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we believe that, uh, child sacrifice and and Bible believing Christians are an antithesis to one another and that we will you know Christians were yeah. going to rise up and end the Holocaust and and for some reason it's like I was asleep to the Holocaust and we feel like the body is asleep because I was no no temptations overtaken uh, you that's not common to man so we're trying to exhort brothers and sisters to look at what we're saying and then just consider that and uh, and then obey Jesus Christ according to that we're not trying to teach people to follow us so yeah and, and uh, so do you got one of these already? I do. All right, yeah. can I give you one of these as something to sure. consider? Sure. Uh, it's just something that's on my heart because I didn't know and, and even uh, I was canceled by, you canceled get, by a you pastor. Got one of those? You get one he of got these? one of these. I don't know if he got one of these. Get one this of those? Is, yeah. Sure, thanks. There you go. I appreciate you taking it, the literature yeah, yeah. and stopping no, to talk right. with me. I appreciate yeah. your kindness. Yeah. Any so, questions? So, uh, so if I'm pro-life and believe abortion is murder, we do the same thing? Um, well, it depends on what you mean by pro-life. Um, we are, we, what we, what we believe is that our authority comes from God and so we need to say what God says. So if you say I'm pro-life and I agree that a 20 week abortion ban is a good thing, well we would disagree because we think that Jesus says thou shalt not murder because the child is created in the image of God. And so we would say no we don't support that pro-life position and unless the pro-life position is what Jesus says. Then we we don't support that, and so a lot of pro-life people, um, they have like exceptions to the law, and that's like there's no exception to thou shalt not murder, like thou shalt not murder except in the case of rape or in the incest or the life of a mother. You see what I'm saying? So, so life in the womb terminated in murder. Then do we agree? Yes. Yeah. If, if we agree with what Jesus says in the Bible, yes, He says you shall not shed uh, shed innocent blood because they're created in the image of God. Okay. So. And then we would agree absolutely, and we're we're 100 yeah. percent like. But I think that's a big biblical. position most people hear. Yeah, so a lot of people take that position yeah. in their in their ideas, but not in their actions. And so a lot of people okay. will support uh, a bill or like something that is exceptions in it, okay. and they'll say, "Well, it's all we can get, right?" Does that make sense? Like they'll say, "Well, we'll have the rape exception because that has 99 percent of abortion." No, I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't support. That. Awesome. Then yeah. you, then you, yeah. then we would agree. But a lot of people that say they're pro-life do agree with that. And when we say we're not pro-life, what what we're trying to draw a distinction is not like a title that we're proud mm -hmm. of. But mm -hmm. an abolitionist, abolition mm -hmm. means to formally put an end to, all right, to, to abortion. Yeah, to abortion. Yeah. So it's a very yeah, clear yeah. term, and it's sure. we're trying to stop the right of abortion from taking place. And pro-life is kind of an ambiguous term where. Um, pro-choice people are pro-life and it's just all the out there so we're trying to draw a distinction draw a line to say hey we, we really want people to move to the abolitionist mindset it's not really okay so you mentioned you mentioned action what kind of action does the church need to take? well what I always say in what I do is um, 
I listen to the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. Mm -hmm. And so if we would view child sacrifice in the same way that we view, say, five-year-olds being murdered, mm -hmm. or in, in the booklet it talks about, you know, there's a park that okay. pedophilia was at. Okay. What would you do? If we will view abortion in that same way and listen to the Lord Jesus Christ. Like, for me, the answer is I would want someone to come out to a place where there's 5,000 influential men in our nation and plead with them to consider what we're saying, what really what the Bible is saying, what God has woken us okay. up to. So, so that action, I'm doing that. that action then is go to those 5,000 influential men and Well, that's what I'm doing because that's how I answer the question, what does Christianity or what would I want done for me? If I was, if I was an a pre-born person going to be murdered, Right, I would want someone coming and pleading with influential people to say, "Hey, would you please stand up?" You know. So are you doing that? That's what I'm doing right now with with you. So that's my answer. Okay. Right. But but the answer for everybody is going to be different because. So let's say I'm in. Okay. Yes, so, yeah. so what action would you admonish me to take? Answer the question that Jesus says, "Do unto others exactly so as you would like done to yourself." Right. Okay. Answer that question. If you're doing that, I have nothing to say. Right. And I can't judge you on your method. Okay. But the reason I don't want to talk about method with people, or I'm happy talking about method like generalities, but... So is it accurate to say that you, you feel that there's a lot of inaction amongst Christians? Uh, I feel there's, there's inaction or action that is misplaced. Okay. You know, like, uh, yeah. So it's misplaced action. It's not, it's not like... For, for example, at Crisis Pregnancy Center, a lot of churches will support that, right? Right. But they aren't actually doing anything to end abortion. Right. They are doing a Christian service, but it's not actually ending abortion or even working towards that goal. So what action should we be taking? Uh, I could give you examples of action that we have taken, but I'm not prescribing something. That's what I'm asking. Okay, great. Yeah. So in Texas, Christians in Texas put forth a bill of abolition. Like last week, I was in Texas, okay. a rally to support is HB 948. Okay. It's a bill that would abolish abortion in Texas and also stand up against the federal government, uh, Roe versus Wade. And say, so you went there to support that? I went there to support that because that bill's going through right now. Okay. I'm trying to get churches to say, hey, look, Okay. There is an end, like, it, te Texas could literally end abortion this year and defy the federal government, and that would that would uh, be an example of follow. And that's just some brothers in Christ that were there that started to go to the work and say, no, this is what the law says, this is what we can do, and they're putting that in action. So so your call to action then would be support uh, abolitionist-type anti-abortion Is that, that what I hear? Be consistent with what the Bible says, yeah. Well, don't support things that aren't consistent with what sure. Scripture okay. says, yeah. And then, like, I believe that, like, the Lord's going to convict me of certain things for my where He's put me, where He's placed me, what I am, and He's going to convict you of different things, I believe, because He's made us all different instruments. So I don't like to tell people, hey, you should do this, that, or that, because God might tell you something better to do, and I don't want you certainly following me. I want you following the Lord Jesus Christ. So I can give you examples. You can go online and look at what we are doing. Um, I don't know that we're doing everything right, I just know that we're desperately trying to serve our Lord and desperately trying to wake up the culture around us that has, for the most part, accepted child sacrifice as normal. Makes sense? I hope I'm trying to make sense and I, I'm, we're not, you know, we're not like about like hold signs or do that. I do hold signs. I do go to everywhere I can to try to wake people up, but, but I believe there's people greater than me that, that God's going to raise up to do that work. So. All right, so so you're appealing to Christians to yeah. act for action. That's, We're appealing, that, yeah. That's what I hear you yeah. doing today. We're okay. appealing to Christians to follow Lord Jesus action. Christ. Yes. Okay, and then and the, the expression of that, that action, as far as boots on the ground, should be supporting abolitionist anti-abortion laws. Yeah, laws yeah. that, you know, it doesn't have to say abolition yeah. in the title, but laws right. that right, right. conform to God's law, because God's law is higher. Yeah, it? absolutely. No, I think... I, I, I think that's a good law in Texas they're trying to pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we just need the, the, you know, we rallied this weekend with a thousand people, but Texas is 80% professing Christians. And it's like, well, if, if you were in a holocaust of 60 million dead and there was a chance to end abortion, you would think that like Christians from all over the nation would come and we have 20,000 people, but we had 1,000. And uh, we had to beg, borrow, and steal to get that, you know? <laughs> so, uh, What's your name? Danny. Jim. Jim, nice to Thanks, meet you, Jim. Thanks for clarifying. Thanks for listening. Jesus, I stand.